Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 10 of Direwolf20's server play series on Forgecraft 1. Hanging out with uh, Tog, and Tema, and me, and Soren. What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey. Hello. Tema, where have you been? You've been hiding from us. Yeah. Uh, Tema's been back for like yeah. one day and already has a more impressive base than I have. <laughs> well, that's... It's been two days... Yeah. I'm gonna go visit your base real quick, Tema, just because it's really cool. And then I'm gonna go show you guys what Soren's made. Because Soren made some cool stuff too. Wow. See? What is this? Didn't he oh, do like okay. crazy stuff? He's got like these giant pillars with like these really cool things underneath supporting them and yeah. uh you know, like large tracts of land and craziness. Um it just comes together. It's coming together pretty well. I'm going to scan all your things. I want you to know that. Oh, I don't have the knowledge required to scan that. Aww. That's right. It's Thumbcraft scanning time. I have to do a lot of scanning of stuff. Um, but don't worry. I've got a really kind of cool thing coming up pretty soon to show you guys. Um, there's new stuff in Thumbcraft, Soren. Oh? Yeah, look. There's this thing over here that does something. That was very detailed and elaborate. Yes. You, where was here? Over here. Behind Got it. You. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yep. I have leaves turned on at the moment accidentally and you blend in. <laughs> right up here. Basically. I think it's a block that I was asking Azanor when he's going to get around to making because I really wanted something that could do something like this. All I know right now is it looks like he has a lot of elementum and it doesn't look to me like he's manually crafting it. What the heck are you using here? Oh, okay, I understand. Yes, cool things that I want to check out and play with. So that means I have to get some research going on. Oh, look yes. at this. He's got a stamper going on with some cherry oak wood planks. Oh, -ho, fancy. Now, Tama, if you ever notice anything just missing from your base, you probably know why now. Yeah, it's probably hey. Direwolf. Hey, good. <laughs> Go steal from Rorax. She's got way more stuff than me. Right? <laughs> Rorax is insane with the amount of things that she has going on at her base. But she's only trying to win game for um Tinker for from Tinkerer. Yeah. It's got the Ikorian stuff. Yep. Yeah, I want to check that stuff out too because that looks pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. but Soren, you've been up to things at our new base. Yeah, trying to not build too much so you have stuff to do. Cool. But enough for the sake that you can actually have a little bit of static stuff. Right. You need so, to hide this thing. This can't be out here. Well, yeah, this this is just temporary. This will be a gate on this side, too. Oh, okay, cool. So, you activate the button, and okay. it should do cool things. Uh-huh. It won't be cobblestone. This is just, again, we need more materials Right. for all the things. All the material things. All the logic for this bridge is in a two block race. Really? That's neat. In just two blocks. Wow, and that is compact. Wait, one block, but I just wanted to have it. So if you wanted to walk down the exterior, you have an AND gate here. So if I turn this lever off, you couldn't activate the bridge on the other side. Nice. You can close or open. That is extremely compact, my good sir. Mm-hmm. Gotta um, love micro parts. <laughs> yes. That is cool. And, and you've got those things upside down, connect in the same block as the logic gates, in the same block yeah. as wires. The only limitation like... is that you can have only two gates in the same block. They have to be opposite facing. Right. So that kind gotcha. of sad. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. So either one of these buttons works on either side here. Yep. And if I turn this switch down here off, like now, right, the other side won't work at all. Buttons don't do nothing. Oh, well, that one works. Yeah, I can't open or close from this side. Oh, I got you. So that's but like a. I got you. So yep. like, if we want to prevent people from getting into our base, we hit that switch down there, and then the remote button doesn't work, but our button still does. Right. And I have that's a remote button nice too. Too. The main gate here, so I like that a lot. So cool. 
Okay. Don't you love the uh, drawbridges? I do. I just don't like yes. the expense of the extended drawbridges. Yeah, extended drawbridges are apparently a little expensive. Yeah. You should look at the recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's a block of Ardite and a block of Cobalt. That's a lot. Like, I could see, like, mm -hmm. I don't know I don't know about a block. Like, that's a yeah, lot. Yeah, like, it may be a cast or something. Yeah. I mean, granted, you only have to find, like, five Ardite and five Cobalt in the Nether, but that stuff is hard to come by. Yeah, I it went is. mining yeah. just for those five, and I have five Cobalt blocks left. I have one Ardite ingot. Yeah, <laughs> no, it is, they are rare. Oh, they are hard to gosh. find. Like, short of putting a quarry in the nether and voiding a whole lot of nether rack and stuff. Yeah. Um, so, I want to do something cool. I want to hit this uh, little thing with a wand here and get myself a Thalmanomicon. Yeah, nifty, right? I want to show you, there's like a new version of Thalmcraft here. Ooh, dimensional shards. Ah, oh, that's Thalmic Tinker. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a nether and end shard, apparently. Ooh. Yeah, um, so Thalmic Tinker adds that. There's a ton of research to do and get, as usual. But check this out. Uh, let's see, do we have any coal? I think yep. we got coal. Check out, have you seen what happens when you scan stuff now? I have not. I have to make a download. Watch this. Hoo hoo fancy. Soren can't see that fanciness, but you guys can. Can you right-click that with a wand, please? Uh, yeah, sure, one sec. Yay! Oh. Ta-da! Here, check this out. You ready? Okay. Scan this torch. And then watch what happens on your screen when you scan it. Oh! Fancy, right? Yeah, the, the um, recording thing is a little bit in the way, but that's nice. It is. Hold on. You can uh, hide that. Oh. Rec UI self, or just slash rec, and it'll tell you the, the commands. Um, so let's see. Also, I'm getting a little bit of mic feedback from you, I think. Oh, really? Um, like, somebody, yeah. It sounds like you're tapping on your on your mic or something. All right, so YouTube, we will be back in a minute. I'm going to do a little bit of scanning of some things, but you know what? Maybe I'll do this part now. Rorax brought us a gift from Dama Tinker. Have you seen it yet, Soren? Uh, if it's not the book, then no. It's the book. Okay, then yes. Okay. I haven't looked, actually opened it yet, but yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. Doot, doot, doot. It's the Tome of <laughs> Knowledge Sharing, bound to Rorax's research. Oh, that's cool. Does it, like, stay up to date with everything she's learned? No, she updated. Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you ready? I'm going to activate it. This is a Thalmic Tinkerer item, and what it does is, when you've done research, you can record the research that you've done in this book to share with other players. You ready? Here goes nothing. Dun dun dun, research acquired. Oh, what is up? That is cool. I don't have to do research. I'm pretty excited by that. Now, some people might call that cheating, but you guys don't know how many times I've done all the research for Thalmcraft. <laughs> like, at this point, like, at least six or seven times have I done research for Thalmcraft, like, start to finish. So, while you're more than welcome to say, ah, that's a little bit cheaty, direwolf, I'm more than welcome to say, oh, automated alchemy. That's the one that I was looking at earlier. I want to see what that's all about. Oh, alchemy con alchemical construct crucibles. We're going to have to read through this a little bit, because I am all about doing some of this. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is do a little bit of Thalmcraft work in the workshop, so that people who want to come by and have access to some of this cool stuff uh, will be able to. Ooh, bone bow, huh? This must be Thalmic Tinkerers. Item dot item bow name dot name. Mind uh, <laughs> tossing the book out again? Cursed Spirits Blade Thalmic Tinkerer. That's cool, too. Uh, you want the, this one? Unnamed items. Okay. There you go. Just put it back in the thingy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, do you guys mind if I don't do the research? I hope not, because I've done the research about a thousand times, and at this point, I'm ready to not have to do it anymore. <laughs> Besides, Rorox did all the research for us, so she just told us the secrets of Thalcraft. All right, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I think the only thing it doesn't unlock is aspects. 
So I still have yeah. to research. I still have to scan things to unlock the aspect components of them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run around and scan a bunch of things with the thermometer. And then I'm going to have all the aspects that I need. wonder, can I scan these? I do not have all the knowledge required to understand this. All right, so you can scan it. I just don't know how. Cool. Can I scan that yet? Yay, I got metallum. That's so cool. Looks like that UI hiding thing doesn't stick, though. No, it doesn't. Stick. Yeah, I think when we jump dimensions, it reactivates itself. All right, so uh, today's episode, getting Thaumcraft into the workshop. I want to have all the Thaumcraft things. I want to have the arcane workbench. I want to have the infusion table and all that cool stuff. And at some point, I'd like to automate all the aspects to be, like, continuously available in jars somehow, some way. Like, I want to have, like, all the different aspects available in the research, in the workshop. The only thing is I'm not sure if this little setup you have here, Soren, might be in my way a little bit. We might need to um, stack these. Like, okay. what do we got here? Eight of them? Can we do two rows of four instead of one row of eight? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. YouTube, we'll be back. I have to go scan things. All right, guys, we're back, and I'm having fun scanning all the things. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Scanning, scanning. I'm just running around the entire workshop and... Around my base and just hitting everything. It's kind of cool watching all these items just float straight up to the top right corner of my screen as I scan everything. All right. I'm finding that thermal expansion machines are a great source of research points. If I actually had to do research, this would be very yep. beneficial. <laughs> you don't know how much off screen time I've saved by doing what I'm doing here with this, you know, thing with the book. Because usually, like, you know, I'll spend, like, you know, five minutes in one episode going over research, right? And I'll, uh, you know, real quick just be like, all right, here's, you know, what I'm going to do. And here I'm getting started with research. And then I spend, not even kidding you guys, like, usually several hours worth of screen time off camera just getting research done in preparation for, like, the upcoming episode. So the ability to, you know, skip a lot of that off screen camera work is really kind of helpful for me. I'm loving it. I'm so excited. What are, duh, what are my aspects? Uh, let's see. Where are you? There's Tema. You are, you've got four actually. You've got Herba, Humanus, uh, Machinima, and Iron. Hmm. Machine Man. That's about right. Herbs. Yeah. All right, and they have got everything in here. All right, I think I pretty much scanned all of the workshop. <laughs> wait, um, wait. What, what? Oh, I should scan that, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of things. <laughs> cool. I think I picked the absolute worst spot to dig a tunnel straight up to escape out of the mine shaft. Yes. You should never dig up. It's almost as bad as digging straight down. Yeah. Sometimes pretty accurately a lot of the time all right so i've got a research table here in case we need to do any research i've got the um the the arcane work table here and then i'm going to get ready to start doing some infusion crafting but i'm probably going to have to jump around and start getting myself some better wands so i'm going to see like how quickly i can power through some of the thomcraft stuff um definitely need to get this wand charged up with some aura nodes so i think i should make myself some goggles of revealing and start flying around and finding myself something very useful you ain't come following soar into base hooray Ooh. i also found some silver wood yesterday oh cool did you get some saplings i think i got three or so yeah oh, wow that's pretty good that's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. We have some cool stuff here. All right, let me get some gold. I know I'm going to need some of that. I think I'm going to need two more, and I need, like, four leather, and that should be about what I need to do. So let's head back to the workshop, get the four leather. I think, actually, I need a little bit of uh, some aspects. Let's see. Do I need aspects to make the goggles of revealing? I do. I need five of everything, pretty much. That stinks. All right. Well, I'll uh, get my leather. That shouldn't be a problem. And then it's time to fly around and find some aura nodes. So I'll, again, be off camera. You know what? I bet Rorax has, like, a little aura node recharge station set up already. How much you want to bet she has one of those? I think so. Yeah, and she's got a lot of them. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Does she? Yeah. Have you been to her house lately? I have not. All right. 
So. <laughs> I'm going here on camera. Even though she's not around, usually I like to have the person around when I'm touring their base, but I just want to take a quick look around. Maybe I won't it's go too far. Pretty. So it's the Soundcraft stuff is down the stairs. Yeah. Maybe I should wait for Rox to be online to show off her base. Yeah, guys. Maybe. I'm going to tease yeah. this by letting you see what you've seen so far, and then you'll have to wait until Rox is online to actually see this. We'll be back. Rich. Okay, we're back, and it's time for goggles of revealing. One and two Ooh. and do 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 and there we go. Thanks to Rorax's base, I stole some aspects. Rorax's base is pretty nuts, by the way. I can't wait mm -hmm. till she gets online so I can like show you guys the craziness that's going on over there. Yeah. Oh, don't I look cool, Soren? How's it going? Uh, I'm gonna enchant this thing right off the bat. We're gonna see what kind of enchants we get on him. Maybe now I'm, wait, I can really actually have some cool stuff. Let's see. If I can enchant this thing and get uh, Unstable 2. I don't know what that is or does. Has anybody figured out what Unstable 2 does yet? Um, it's from Open Blocks. Is it? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Oh, it's from Open Blocks. Give me a second. Yeah, if it's from Open Blocks, you can just look it up, right? All right. <laughs> so, Unstable. I think it's if you if something attacks you or something that has a chance of exploding, exploding and it doesn't harm you. Interesting. That's what the uh, localization is. So I didn't want projectile protection or unbreaking. That is not exactly what I wanted to have happen, but that's okay. We'll get these guys repaired up. I want to get, um, whatchamacallit on here, I want to get the repair um, thing on here so that I can steal that as a book and start making copies of the repair enchant, but eh, I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. Okay. I just wanted to see if I could get it real quick. I'll stick with projectile protection on Unbreaking 3 for now. Protect me against skeletons, I guess. All right, so I think the first thing I want to do is probably get one of those better... Um, wands so i'll probably want to go with like the great wood log with the gold and then once i've got that i'll probably upgrade and start working towards getting like all the other stuff that we're going to need what i should probably do is grab a great wood tree and throw it here in the workshop area we didn't have any of those right near our base did we by chance either of our bases okay I think I've got a sapling. Do you? A sapling of what? Great wood. Great wood. Oh, yeah. No, we don't. Yeah. Have Neat. Go to Tama. All right. Go, go, go. Do you want to bring it to the yeah. workshop? Sure, yeah. I've got four of them. Oh, nice. Here. Yeah, that's that's going to hook us up pretty good. We have um a witchwood tree here as well that we've been kind of farming on with. I'm pretty sure bone meal works with it. All right, here we go. Hook me up, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a lot of great wood. Cool. <laughs> great wood's good anyway because it's a really good source of Procantio. I'm going to plant it out here by the rubberwood tree farm. Maybe like right here-ish. All right, maybe... Does it have to be 4x4? Four four? Or 2x2, two two, I mean? Uh, no. It's just one? Just one. Alright, bone meal doesn't work on it then. Alright guys, we're going to have to wait for that to grow. Meanwhile, I'll just look around in the overworld real quick and see if I can find one. Just so I can get a few logs, so I can get a great wood thing going. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. So, uh, I would like to make a couple things here. Like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went over to Roraxes and filled up my gold banded great wood log wand, which I just made. Cool. And I'm going to make the things that we need to make. So the first thing I probably want to have... This one. There might be coal blocks, so... Yeah, we have coal blocks there. Top. Mm There we go. Insufficient V. That's okay. I can manage. Boom. You know what else I should make while I'm here? 
So I should make those awesome uh, armor pieces that reduce the cost of stuff. I need a lot of string and wool, which I should be able to get um, string from wool. Since I have lots of wool, that shouldn't be a problem. I think I can just pulverize wool straight into string, can I? Yeah, yeah it's, it's only gen. one string. Uh, sure. That's probably okay. Gen. What's that? We have a wool gen. The uh, uh, thing from Project Red. Right? You separate I give wool into four strings. Yeah, but that requires like a diamond. Or right, several diamonds, it. doesn't it? He already has it. No, it uses the draw plate thing. Right. You already have it? Yeah. So, no. right on you. Cool. Right on. Drop, drop. Thank uh, you. Flag. Okay. That might be enough. We'll see. Yeah, the uh, bundle cable is <laughs> rather tedious to make, so I have to get some string. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so let's see. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I need seven. All right, we'll just do this, and we'll see how good we get with it. Isn't that the recipe? What? Hang on, I have to check the recipe for the enchanted fabric. Yes, that's the recipe. Wool with string all around it. Uh... Yeah, I did say I would show off our house, but very quickly because I've already done it off. Huh, that's interesting. Problems? Yeah, the enchanted fabric recipe is not working. Oh. It enchanted Weird. fabric for what? Ah, uh, thong craft. Ah. I'll be back in a second, guys. Mm. Figure out why. Alright guys, we're back. It looks like it's a current bug with Thongcraft, so um, I took care of things. All problems resolved. <laughs> I guess I need to clear it. Were these problems resolved legitimately? No. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. Otherwise we have to be concerned. I, I took my wool and I destroyed it, and I gave myself enchanted fabric. I felt that that was fair. <laughs> it's a legitimate bug in Thalmcraft, right? It, yeah, you said the string yeah, is yeah. expecting a different metadata or something? ID, meta, whatever. Something or other, one of those magical programmer things. Something broke. Oops, wrong bug. It's probably Soren's Just like fault. that. If, if um, I were to be a blaming kind of person, which I'm typically not, but if I were, I would most <laughs> likely at this point be blaming Soren. Which you're not okay. Uh -huh. Right? No, not uh -huh. at all. Not even. No, I. Huh. Come on, man. Yes. Seriously. No. I would never blame you, Soren. Your never and my never are just a little bit different, but okay. I'm not sure why I just flew across the room, but I did, so... Something for we'll you. Alright, so what I should be able to do is put this stuff on here, and the boots, and I'm going to actually put you back on, just so I can demonstrate this. So now I should be able to shift right-click with an empty hand, and completely switch my gear. Haha, <laughs> cool. What? Gotta love it. I'm just having fun, don't mind me. You switch... Yeah, what now? Having fun. Well, yes, I believe that's what we always do, but. Come see. Uh, alchemy. I want to make these things, which is buckets. Okay, so I'm going to need. Let's start off with three buckets because I'm actually kind of low on iron. And we'll throw a fourth one on here if we decide we need to at some point. But for Your now. is on backwards. My what? It looks like your head is on backwards for me. Well, that's not healthy. Oh, there we go. No, it's not. Not at all. See, watch. Shift, right, click. Boom. Oh. Fancy. If you apply a redstone signal to the um, armor stand, it'll do that. Hey, that's not my armor. Hi. Come back here with my armor. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm good. You can have what's there now. <laughs> I don't want that junk that you call armor. Nor do I, actually. I just found it. Go make some good stuff. This this mage gear is pretty decent and, like, not hard Battle to make. Mage. Don't you have to have level up for the no. thing about to make it work? Just well? mage robes. Uh, just, uh, yeah, mage mage armor. Not not the battle mage stuff, just the regular mage stuff. What's the difference? Uh, the regular mage stuff is more enchantable, um, and I think it repairs faster and gives you better um, buffs to, like, your mana cost and stuff when you cast spells. Okay. Like, it costs me less mana to do this. I'll do that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just need fireballs. Go back. That's my face. Alright, look. You're activated now. I don't care where you go. Just go somewhere. Oh. Alright, so uh, give me a minute, guys. We'll be back. I want to uh, get ready to do the next stage of this, which is probably going to be building this guy right here. And we're back. Let's get this cool thing set up, shall we? Alright. You going to come here for the honors, Soren? We're gone. Uh, look. Look, be gone. Okay, there it is. This is kind of the fastest I've ever done Thumbcraft. I like nice. it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this wooden capped wand is fully charged. That should be exactly what I need to do what I need to do. But you know what? I'll be smart and do that in preparation for this. Here goes nothing. Ta-da! Okay, so it did use it all. Still used all 25. Oh, well, that's okay. We've got things active. Hooray. So that looks cool. So we've got that basic thing set up. We can still... How am I for air in here? Enough? Good. Let's do three of these guys. We'll see how much of these I can get. Eight? That should be enough. Perfect. Now I'll probably have to eventually like bump this out because some of the new stuff from uh, Atomic Tinker is really high-end game and it requires a lot, and I'm not even kidding, a lot of stuff. Like, let me just show you guys some of the crazy things we're about to get ourselves into once we really get deep. Lamp of Fertility. Oh, that's funny. Have you tried the Lamp of Growth yet, anybody? It's awesome. Mm, I've seen it, but I haven't gotten to use it yet. Runic Armor Upgrades. That's cool. Yeah, that's a lot of reading. That's pretty neat. Runic Armor, huh? So this stuff, this isn't even like the crazy part. I haven't gotten the crazy part yet, guys. This is just like the not so crazy part. That's pretty neat. The normal stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Recipes are still work in progress, he says. Yep. And then with that runic armor, we can eventually bump it up to runic armor upgrades, which has all this craziness. That sounds kind of cool. Okay, um, anyway, the beginning of this tech tree is Icor. This is the most basic and simple item you can make in this entire tech tree. You ready? I'm clicking on the button now. It requires another star. <laughs> <laughs> and 32 Humanus, 32 Lux, 64 Spiritus, high instability, and it requires an Ender Shard, another Shard, an Eye of Ender, a Diamond, and another star. Luckily, you get eight of them from that. So at least you get eight Icor from that. Um, and then from there, you can either get Icorium, which is an arcane workbench recipe, which requires a hundred of each aspect, and three Icor, diamond and thalmium ingots. And then that's used to make other stuff. Or you can get Icor Cloth, which is 125 of each of these things, diamond, Icor, and enchanted fabric. And that's pretty crazy. Um, but once you've gotten like that ridiculous amount of stuff then you can go into some really cool things like the bottomless pouch by infusing a focus mm -hmm. pouch with items such as portable hole focus you manage to allow it to not only store more than foci but also to have very extensive storage space Ooh, that sounds cool yeah it can carry more than four chests but it also doubles as a standard focus pouch awesome that's pretty cool i want one yeah i can kiss my inventory problems goodbye I don't know. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Right? Yeah. Um, I-Core strapped Silverwood Wand Core. This can store 1,000 of each type of V. 
that's pretty nuts. Um, Rorax actually has one of these. I saw it over mm -hmm. at her base. He has all of the stuff. Yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of armor you can get with it. Um, some pretty crazy stuff. And uh, you can also get some tools with it and a feline amulet. I don't know what that does. Um, I guess like scare away creepers. Oh, yeah, it scares creepers away like cats do. Yes. Yes, That's I'm cool. It kind of protects you from creeper explosions. That's really neat. Icorium wand caps. Ooh, 20% discount. That's pretty nice. Even better wand caps. You can have some really good stuff here. All right. So that's enough teasing as to some of the... There's a lot that he's added to Thomic Tinkerer. Like a real lot. We're going to have to play with some of this, I think. Ooh, Essentia Mirrors. I think that's added to Vanilla Thomcraft, by the way. This is not Thomic Tinkerer. Um, he, um, Asnor told me he was going to be adding Essentia Mirrors. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, enough playing around in the Thomonomicon. There's plenty more stuff to check out. Let's get back to work. And by back to work, I mean let's wrap up the episode, because we've unfortunately hit the wrapping up point. But we got some good progress done. Uh, next episode, I'll be back to continue and finish up some of the work that we're going to do here. So my goal with Thaumcraft in the workshop is to eventually have it so that all the meaningful aspects that you can use for stuff will be available almost full time. Like, we're going to have to eventually wait to get to that point, but I'm sure we can automate that somehow. We'll come up with something cool. Plus, I want to check out some of the new Thaumcraft stuff that's available and some of the new Thaumic Tinkerer stuff that's available. So, Automated Alchemy, for example, I definitely want to check that out because the Alchemy stuff has always been something that's like a nuisance to craft. So, the availability to automate it sounds really cool. I can't wait to see what's involved in doing that. Um, it looks pretty interesting. So, we're definitely going to get into some of that. And, uh, uh, of course, we have our main base to get working on. So, Soren, let's go visit the main base for just a minute as we get ready to wrap up the episode here. I do want to see what we've got going on. So, Direwolf and Pals, new. Uh, I walked down. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Cool. So, here's the base. Uh, so, you've got plans to do cool things in here? Go downstairs? Yeah. Yeah, basically, the back area where the smeltery is right. will have all the automation. So everything in this room is automation. Okay. Every single one. And then there will be another passageway here that goes down. But it will be hidden by glass. Obviously hidden. Okay. And then this direction will probably have whatever. We can branch out. We can have a tree farm. We can do both. And... Nice. I like it. And, and this would be a Soren chest? It would be a Soren chest that was remaining. So now it's a floating Soren chest. It's even right, better. a floating Soren chest. <laughs> nice. Just, I actually start tessellating them all over the place. Soren tests everywhere. A Soren double chest. Okay, so we have to do some mining because we're a little bit low on resources. But what I'd like to do is um, wrap up the Thalmcraft stuff next episode, maybe. And then move into some kind of a sorting system. Do we have enough for an AE system? Can we jump straight into that, do you think? Remember, this is the uh, season of power gaming, so we're going to go crazy. Oh, no, okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe. We are pretty good. I think one more mining run to get some iron and stuff, and then we could probably work on an AE system. A nice early AE system to store all our junk. And then once we've got that going, we can look into, you guessed it, time to start up a quarry or something to auto mine for us because then we don't have to mine anymore and we can focus on doing some really crazy and interesting builds anyway for now dial 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode and take it easy <laughs>